So this question says, which of the following expressions is equal to zero for some value of x? Well, uh, the question does ask which one of the expressions is equal to zero. So the best thing for us to do is to set each of these equal to zero. And given the wording of the question, only one of them should actually be able to be solvable. So when I, when I try answer choice A, I have absolute value x minus 1 minus 1 equals 0. I can add 1 to both sides here, leaving me with the absolute value of x minus 1. Let's make sure those absolute values are clear. Is equal to positive 1. And then anytime you're solving an absolute value equation, you can separate it into two separate equations. One that looks just like the original, just without the absolute value signs or symbols. And the other, which switches the sign of the answer. Okay, so in this case, I'd add 1 to both sides, and I'm left with x equals 2 as a solution. And here, I'd also add 1 to both sides, and I'd be left with x equals 0 as a solution. So answer choice A does work because we get two x values, right, 0 and 2, that make it true. Now, here's why none of the other options will work. And I'll show it to you through B, but the reason why B doesn't work is the same reason why C and D will also not work. So when I write down choice B, I have absolute value x plus 1, close absolute value, plus 1 equals 0. I'm going to approach it the same way I approached answer choice A, but I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So I'm left with absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to negative 1. And here is where we need to pause, because before I can, before just breaking this up and into two separate equations, what I need to think about is what is the function of an absolute value, right? What is the meaning of an absolute value? An absolute value symbol turns whatever is inside of the absolute value into a positive term, a positive number. So if that's the case, that means the absolute value of something, again, right, x plus 1 for here, but no, no matter what is inside this absolute value, it can never equal a negative number. The absolute value of something can never equal a negative value. That is why B is incorrect, but it's also why C and D are incorrect, because in each case, we'd subtract 1. We'd have this step, right, where I'm subtracting 1 from both sides, and I'd be left with an absolute value equals a negative number, and that can never happen.